Good morning, Northern High School. Today is Thursday, February 25th, a 12-15 dismissal and National Chili Day. I'm Helen Friend. And I'm Bailey Brewer. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Word of the day, sustainable agriculture, a noun, the efficient production of safe, high-quality agricultural products in a way that protects and improves the natural environment, the social and economic conditions of farmers, their employees, and local communities, and safeguards the health and welfare of all farm species. For example, not only does sustainable agriculture address many environmental and social concerns, but it offers innovative and economically viable opportunities for growers, laborers, consumers, policymakers, and many others in the entire food system. And here's today's agricultural fact. Did you know that families own and operate most U.S. farms and ranches? Today, 97% of all U.S. farms are owned by individuals. Family partnerships or family corporations. Just 3% of America's farms and ranches are owned by non-family corporations. In addition, 85% of the U.S. ag products sold or produced on family farms or ranches. Non-family corporations account for only 15% of the U.S. ag product sales. Now in today's news, attention all seniors, the senior trip is now full. We cannot accept any more reservations for the bus. Questions or concerns, please see Mrs. Ahern. National FFA Week continues with Hat Day today, and we get free ice cream on lunch. Don't forget to wear your flannel tomorrow for Flannel Friday. Juniors and seniors, a rep from Johnson & Wales will be here on Monday, February 29th during enrichment to meet with students. Students can sign up in the Counseling Center by 3 p.m. tomorrow, Friday, February 26th. There will not be an after-school practice for zombie prom this week. There will be two rehearsals next week on Thursday and Tuesday. Attention students, Miss Stow has been selected for the Elks Lodge Teacher of the Year. If you have any memories or thoughts in regards to Mrs. Stow and her impact on NHS, please put them in writing and get them to Mr. Nicklin ASAP. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Nicklin. Writing prompt of the week. Don't forget to turn your writing prompt to Miss Roller. Attention juniors, the class of 2017 will be having its last dues drive before prom February 29th through March 1st. This will be your last opportunity to pay your dues before it's time to buy prom tickets. Remember, if dues are not paid now, you'll be paying them when you buy your tickets in April. Class dues are $35, and checks are made payable to NHS and given to Ms. Hawkins in room 214. I'm sitting here with Mr. Moranduzo. Mr. Moranduzo, how do you feel about wrestling regionals and what do you expect? I think it's great. I think it's a great thing to have here. Uh, this is the first time it's ever been held in Garrett County in the history of the state tournament, so um, I'm excited about that. How I think it'll go, I think it'll go great. And there you have it. Anyway. In Husky events, all honor course members are reminded that they have an all-day rehearsal tomorrow at Southern High. The bus will be leaving at 8.30 a.m. The Northern Variety Show, sponsored by 4Club, will have sign-ups all next week in, in the guidance office. Auditions are March 10th after school. The show will be April 6th. Exact times are to be announced. Now, in sports news, the girls' JV basketball team lost to Southern at the Eddie Rogers Tournament Tuesday night. Tonight, the boys' freshman basketball team travels to Mountain Ridge to take on Frankfurt at 6 p.m. in the Eddie Rogers Tournament. Ooh. If you missed the boys' track meeting yesterday because you were absent or forgot or a mean teacher wouldn't let you out of class, information is available in Miss Hawkins' room. Just stop by, say hello, and ask for some information. Don't worry, Miss Hawkins is nice but only to those who run track. That's not true, Jackie is so nice to everyone else. There will be a meeting tomorrow, Friday, February 26th in the cafeteria doing enrichment for any girl or boy interested in playing tennis this spring. If you are unable to attend, please contact Allison Paul or Aaliyah Durst for team info. 
JV and varsity basketball trials will be held on March 1st after school. All participants, all participants must have a physical in order to try out. Whew. Today's lunch will be flatbread pizza, broccoli, orange wedges, carrot sticks, and milk. Yay. <laughs> Weather. Today, we should see snow showers with a high near 35 and breezy with west winds of 70 to 20 miles per hour, gusting to as high as 33 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 80%. And new snow accumulation is of around an inch is possible. Hmm, I bet we get out of school early. <laughs> quote of the day. Today's quote is from Howard Graham Buffett. Each of us has about 40 chances to accomplish our goals in life. I learned this first through agriculture, because all former farmers can expect to have about 40 growing seasons, giving them just 40 chances to improve on every harvest. Have, have a, a tenacious, tenacious Thursday, and enjoy, enjoy your day as, as we get, get to bail out of here, here at 12.15. <laughs> <laughs>